On this week's episode, we're visiting one of the most beautiful and little-known gardens in the country, the Elizabethan Gardens on Roanoke Island in Manteo, North Carolina, within the Fort Raleigh National Historic Site. We'll highlight some of the beauty that spans over 10 acres, which includes hundreds of native plants and rare treasures such as the 9-foot bronze statue of Queen Elizabeth I, reportedly the world's largest statue of the Queen, and a solid marble statue of Virginia Dare, from 1860, representing the first child born of English parents in the Americas in the 1500s. So come along with us as we have a lot of beautiful ground to cover today on this episode of History and Relics. The Elizabethan gardens are designed after the gardens that once entertained Queen Elizabeth I. The origins of the Elizabethan gardens can be traced back to 1950, the year that a few prestigious North Carolina community members first fashioned the idea of creating a garden adjacent to the Fort Raleigh National Park. Their mission was to honor the lives of the lost colonists of Sir Walter Raleigh. The Fort Raleigh National Historic Site preserves the location of the Roanoke Colony, or Lost Colony, the first English settlement in the U.S. In 1587, 116 men and women signed up for the voyage to Roanoke Island, and by 1590, no residents remained. The colony was promoted by entrepreneurs, led by Englishman Sir Walter Raleigh under the banner of Elizabeth I and broke down sometime between 1587 and 1590. The concept of the Elizabethan Gardens was presented to the Garden Club of North Carolina, who agreed to sponsor the project. Construction officially began in 1953 and the gardens opened in 1960. The Garden Club of North Carolina continues to manage the site today. The gardens are a level 2 accredited arboretum that has over 500 species of plants, 85 varieties of camellias, and an ancient oak that has been living since 1585. The gardens also have a host of intriguing treasures, including a bronze statue of Queen Elizabeth I, reportedly the largest in the world, created by John Hare and was dedicated on May 13, 2004. Then there's the life-size marble statue of Virginia Dare, imported from Rome, with quite an interesting history. The Virginia Dare statue was created by sculptor Maria Luisa Lander, who was born in 1826 in Salem, Massachusetts. She later owned her own studio in Massachusetts, as well as in Rome, Italy, in 1855. Virginia Dare was born at the Colony on August 18, 1587, the first child born of English parents in the Americas. Lander chose to sculpt a life-size statue of Dare to depict what she might have looked like as an adult. After 14 months, the statue was finished in Rome in 1860. It was made of white marble pillar from the Carrera quarries located on the northernmost tip of Tuscany. Lander placed it on a sailing vessel headed for Boston, which was wrecked in a violent storm off the coast of Spain. Two years later, the Dare statue was pulled from the bottom of the sea, along with the ship's cargo. Lander restored the statue and displayed the piece in Boston, where it was purchased for $5,000. It was taken to the new owner's studio, which later caught fire. The statue survived and ended up back with Lander once more. 
Lander died in 1926 and willed the statue to the state of North Carolina. It was housed in numerous places and was considered controversial. It was passed from one caretaker to the next until it was finally sent to the Pulitzer Prize winning author Paul Green. As fate would have it, the Elizabethan Gardens were created on Roanoke Island at about the same time when Green gave the statue a much deserved magnificent home, one it was truly waiting for among the famous statuary from the Whitney estate of Thomasville, Georgia. In 1953, the Elizabethan Gardens received Virginia Dare and several museum quality Italian statues that were gifts from the Whitney family estate. Let's now take a brief garden walk to explore these extraordinary gardens.
Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our program. If you like our content, we ask that you give us a thumbs up, a like, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you always know when our new content is published. And all of this costs nothing but means a lot to us and keeps us growing. You may also leave us a tip if you choose. The address is provided here on your screen and a link is provided in the description area below. So until next time, everyone, this one is history.